I learned this by going to the Kingdom Hall. Believe it or not, when I was going through what I was going through in Chicago, thanks to my lovely ex-wife, I would go to the Kingdom Hall. And I went there just so I can learn their mindset and learn. And I learned a lot by going to the Kingdom Hall. Not debating them, just going there to learn. And here's what I learned from going to the Kingdom Hall. They even have a book, a book that teaches you how to speak. Can you believe it? That's how prepared this organization is. They have a book or a booklet or an article virtually on every subject under the sun. They even teach you how to witness. You'll see them on stage where they're playing out a role in which someone goes to someone's house and they do role playing. That's how meticulous they are. And I learned from the, one of their elders. He got up and I remember this clearly. He said, do not tell them what the Bible means, but ask them question in order to guide them to the answer. Do you hear that? Let me repeat what he said. This is the gist of what he said. Do not tell the person. Ask questions in order to guide them to the answer. That's why when the witnesses come knocking on your door, what do they do? They ask you questions. <clears throat> Second fact about Joe's witnesses. They are trained to answer questions, but they're trained to avoid you if you get into debates. The society tells witnesses, avoid foolish quarrels and debates. Only engage people who have questions. So if you want to end a conversation with Joe Witness, debate them. You want to end a conversation with Joe Witness, tell them what the Bible means. And they will, they will write you off, and there goes your opportunity to witness to them. Third fact to remember, this is for Eric and everyone else. And Eric is going to confirm this, as well as Emmanuel. The society teaches the Bible is written only for the anointed class of 144,000. Only the 144,000 are born again, spirit-filled, so they alone know what the Bible means. No one else does. Now, were you taught this, Erica? Did I lose you? Not exactly. Kind of a version of that. Okay, what were you taught? I, go ahead. Um, I was taught that the 144,000 are the only ones that are going to go to heaven. Yes. And not only that, further probe and ask your father. 144,000 are the ones who alone are qualified to interpret the Bible. Why do you think, Eric, as a Joe Witness, you got all your information from the society? You didn't have someone stepping on the podium and opening up a chapter and breaking it down. What you did was you followed the guidelines, like their booklets or their pamphlets, right? Yes. Why do you think that is? Because that anointed class, because the, that governing came from the governing body. Ah, okay. You got so it now? Yes, I get it now. But they've had the kind of, they're all dead, you know? Oh, well, no. The, remember, the, the governing body, you still have living members of the governing body right now. You can find them on YouTube. Now they're, they do videos right. and posts on YouTube. So the 144,000, they alone are born again. They alone will dwell with Jesus in heaven and rule over the earth, right? The great crowd, the great flock will all be here on earth during, you know, the millennial reign of Christ after Armageddon. Because they alone are born again. They alone are anointed class. When they die, they go straight away to heaven. Whereas the rest of you, you cease to exist. You only exist as a memory in Jehovah's mind. Did they teach you that? Yes. Okay, did you guys hear what they believe? She knows this already. But I want you guys to know how wickedly satanic and miserable of religion this is. They believe if you are part of the 144,000 anointed class, if you die, your spirit remains alive because it goes to heaven that's when you become born again and you see jesus as a spirit creature the archangel michael and you begin ruling with jesus when he starts ruling after armageddon okay well he began ruling in 1914 big story for, forget put that aside everyone else let's say erica is not a jehovah witness i'm not not i'm sorry you're not anointed class say erica is not part of the anointed class if she dies she ceases to exist she only exists as a memory in jehovah's mind now, when it comes to the resurrection, Jehovah will then recreate her, recreate her, and she will be recreated with the memory she had before she was wiped out of existence. Did they teach you that? Yes. You understand what they believe? It's not soul sleep. You cease to exist. You exist as a memory in Jehovah's mind. 
And Jehovah may recreate you if you found mercy, or you'll be you'll remain extinct, wiped out of existence. Because according to the Jehovah Witness teaching, and I heard it from the elders, hell for the Jehovah Witness is when you are wiped out of existence without the hope of resurrection. And they'll tell you right now, there are three people in quote-unquote hell. Let me repeat what they believe about hell. Hell for a Jehovah Witness is not the lake of fire. Hell for a Jehovah Witness is a state of extinction without the possibility of being resurrected, recreated. They'll tell you there are already three in hell. You know which three? Did I tell you, Erica, which three are in hell right now? No. Adam, Eve, and Judas Iscariot. Yes. Adam, Eve, Judas Iscariot, they are in hell, meaning because they've died, they've been wiped out, and they will never be resurrected because of the sins they committed. They'll say Adam, Eve, and Judas Iscariot. Because let me repeat, hell for them is not a place of torment. Hell for them is a state of extinction where you're wiped out without the possibility of resurrection. Everyone got it? Eric, I'm sure you already knew this, but I want to make sure to help them so they can learn how to witness the Joe's witnesses as well. So I actually totally, I forgot that. I was, thank you for reminding me. Good. Praise God. See, it's good because you've been so far away from the organization, but it's now time to remember so you know how to witness to them. Now, why did I mention that? The Joe's witnesses will tell you only the anointed class are spirit filled enough to know the Bible. What does that mean? I'm not a Job witness. There's no possible way that I can know what the Bible means. So how in the world can I tell a Jehovah Witness what it means? That's why your father shuts you down. You get it now, Erica? Yes. He's been brainwashed into thinking this book is for the anointed class and only the governing body because they have to be part of the anointed class to govern the body of Jehovah's Witnesses. They alone can tell us what it means. How dare you tell us what it means when you're not a Jehovah's Witness and you're following Christendom? See, so that's yes. why you're going to lose your father by telling him what these passages mean. You have to stop. You got to stop telling him and start asking him. Well, what about okay. this verse? Man, I mean, how how is Jesus a creature when here he claims to be Jehovah? I'm baffled. And even when he responds to you, just keep giving him verse after verse. Keep asking and feed him verses so that by your prayers... The Holy Spirit will now take all those verses that you plant in his mind and he'll be culling over those verses and they will be tormenting him, haunting him until he finally breaks. And another thing about Joe's witnesses for the rest of them, she'll tell you, you know, they only celebrate the Lord's Supper, quote unquote, the Lord's Supper once a year on the Passover feast of the Jews. That's why once a year, Joe's witnesses will rent a hall, rent a place, They'll gather for the Passover of the Jews, and that's when they'll take the cup. Is it bread they, they pass, or is it? Unleavened bread. Unleavened bread. Now, notice what they do. They will take unleavened bread and a cup on the Passover of the Jews. Only once a year they do this. And what they do is they pass the cup and unleavened bread. No one can eat it. They only look at it and pass it on. Only the 144,000 can eat it and drink it. You believe that? So imagine you're a Jehovah Witness. You only celebrate the Lord's Supper once a year on Passover of the Jews. And when they pass the cup, you only look at it. You can't drink it. You pass it to the next person. Unleavened bread, you pass it to the next person. Only ones who can eat it are the anointed class. And if you're not anointed, stay away from it. 